Dr. Femila Roslin, working as an assistant professor in Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology, deemed to be university. In this video lecture, I am going to explain how to find the overall transfer function of a system by using signal flow graph that is SFG. Signal flow graph is a pictorial representation of the system whose overall transfer gain is found by using a Mason's gain formula. According to Mason's gain formula, the overall transfer function T of s equal 1 by del sum of k del k p k, where T of s is the transfer function of the system, p of k equal forward path gain of kth forward path, del equal 1 minus sum of the individual loop gains plus sum of the gain product of all possible combination of two non-touching loops minus sum of the gain product of all possible combination of three non-touching loop and so on and del k equal del for the part of the graph which is not on the kth forward path. With the help of one simple problem, I am going to explain the steps involved to find the overall transfer function from the signal flow graph. The problem says find the overall transfer function of the system whose signal flow graph is shown below. This is the given signal, signal flow graph. Before going into the steps, first I will explain the basic terminologies involved in this signal flow graph. The first one is the input node. Input node is a node which has only outgoing branches. Here node 1 have only outgoing branches so that node 1 is called input node and another one is output node. Output node is a node which has only an incoming branches. Consider node 8, the node 8 only have the incoming branches so that the 8th node is called output node and the mixer node. Mixer node is nothing but a node which has both incoming and outgoing branches. Consider node 3, it has incoming branch as well as outgoing branches so that node 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 all are called as mixed nodes. Then forward path, forward path is a path which start from input node and ends at output node without passing the node more than once. That path is called forward path. Then individual loops. Individual loop is a closed path which start from one node and travel along the branches of the signal flow graph and again terminates at the same node without passing the node more than once. Consider node 3, 4, 5 and 3. Here the it is a closed path which starts from node 3 and 4, it travel to 4, 5, again come back to 3 along the direction of the branches so that this is called it as an individual loop. The first step of the signal flow graph is to find the number of forward path and its gains. Forward path is a path which start from an input node and ends at the output node along the direction of the branches without passing the node more than once. Like that in this given SFG there are two forward paths, the number of forward path is considered as k therefore in this problem k equal to 2. The first forward path is it is from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and its forward path gain is nothing but the product of all the gains for that path is called it as forward path gain. The first forward path gain P1 will be equal to G1 multiplied by G2 multiplied by G4 multiplied by G5. Similarly, the second forward path it starts from 1. 2 and again 5, 6, 7 and its gain is called P2, P2 equal G4, G5 and G6. Step 2 is to find the individual loop and its gain. 
individual loop is nothing but it starts from one node and travel along the branches of the signal flow graph and again terminate at the same node without passing the node more than once. Like that in this given signal flow graph we have three number of individual loops. The individual loop the first one it starts from 3 and go back to 4 again come back to 3. This is called it as the individual loop 1 and its gain is nothing but it is the gain product of the individual branches. Consider this individual loop 1 their gains are G2 and minus H1 so that the individual loop gain of loop 1 will be equal to L1 that will be equal to minus G2 H1. And the second loop 2 it starts from 3, 4 and 5 again come back to 3 and its individual loop gain of loop 2 L2 will be equal to minus G2 G3 H2. And the third loop the individual loop 3 starts from 6 go, go to 7 and again come back to 6 and its individual loop gain of L3 will equal minus G5 H3. Step 3 is to find the two non-touching loop and its gains. Non-touching loop is nothing but it is a individual loop which does not have a common nodes that is call it as a non-touching loop. Like that we have to find it out the two non-touching loop and its gains. Consider loop 1 and loop 3. Here there is no common nodes between loop 1 and loop 3 so that loop 1 and loop 3 are called the first combination of two non-touching loops and its gain is a gain product of L1 and L3 that will be equal to minus G2 H1 multiplied by minus G5 H3 that, that will be equal to G2 G5 H1 H3. The second combination of two non-touching loop is loop 2 and loop 3. In this loop 2 and loop 3 there is no common nodes. So that the gain product of loop 2 and loop 3 is L2 L3 that will be equal to minus G2 G3 H2 minus G5 H3. So that G2 G3 G5 H2 H3. The next step is to find the value of del and del k. Del is nothing but it is 1 minus sum of the individual loop gains plus sum of the gain product of all possible combination of two non-touching loops minus sum of the gain product of all possible combination of three non-touching loops and so on. Here we have three different individual loop gains so that the sum of the individual loop gains are P1 plus P2 plus P3 and we have two combination of two non-touching loops and its gain products are L1, L3 and L2, L3 and its sum is L1, L3 plus L2, L3. So that the finally the del value will be equal 1 minus of P1 plus P2 plus P3 then plus L1, L3 plus L2, L3. 1 minus P1 value, P2 value, P3 value and L1, L3 and L2, L3 finally we are getting this as the value for del. Since we have k as 2 we need to find it out the value of del 1 and del 2. Del 1 will be equal to 1 since there is no part of the graph which is not touching our first forward path. This is my first forward path here all the three individual loops are touching the first forward path so that the value of del 1 will be equal to it is 1 minus 0 finally we are getting 1. Next we need to find it out the value of del 2. Del 2 is the value of del for the part of the graph which is not touching the second forward path. This is our second forward path. Our loop 1 is not touching the second forward path. So that for that loop we need to find it out the value for del. Del is nothing but it is 1 minus sum of the individual loops. Here the individual loop is G2 H1 therefore it is 1 minus of minus G2 H1. Finally we are getting 1 plus G2 H1 for del 2. 
The final step is to find the overall gain of the given system by using Mason's gain formula. Mason's gain formula says the transfer function will be equal to 1 by del sum of k p k del k. Here the k will be equal to 2 therefore 1 by del into p1 del 1 plus p2 del 2. After substituting the values of p1 del 1, p2 del 2, this is the value of the transfer function for the given signal flow graph. So far we have seen how to find the transfer function of the system by using signal flow graph. In my next lecture, I will explain how to find the transfer function by using block diagram reduction technique. Thank you.